Hello and welcome to Camp For You campsite near Wrocław, Poland and in today I'm going to show you a little experiment that we tried here which could be very useful for lots of you. Got solar panel out here and here we've got something which is euphemistically called a power station. I prefer to call it a camping power bank, that's my word. But uh, this is from uh, Royal Oak, the company. But there's a number of companies doing these things. I really strongly believe in something like this, particularly for those you've got camper vans, uh, older ones, or you're doing a conversion and uh, you don't re necessarily want, for whatever reason, to put in batteries. Now, something like this, uh, you're looking at around... 500 euros or thereabouts this is 500 watt so therefore it's what about 40 amps approximately just just over and uh, now that uh, for that type of money uh, obviously you could buy normal uh, lead acid batteries in fact a, a lead acid battery with an inverter and uh, all the other stuff that you get with this would cost you roughly half possibly even less but then again you've got to install it and if you don't know how to install it um, then then that these costs then start adding up and not only that you can take this anywhere you want now the advantage of something like this so you've got the USBs here you've got uh, you've got DC out but the ones which are most important to most people you've got the AC out there it's up to 300 watts and here you've got the 12 volt now what I do with my computer I plug my computer into that and then I use this uh, sometimes. Uh, what I have been doing now as an experiment, I was here at this campsite seven weeks ago and uh, this was fully charged then. And so I've been plugging my computer in it, but as I've been traveling around, I've charged it up. So I charge it up via the, uh, uh, via the, the vehicle's 12 volt. Um, so that's very easy to for anybody can do that no complicated installation there is necessary and then i use my computer in fact uh, i've been using this to charge my computer admittedly i do have a larger battery on the computer but it's only today that this thing here actually ran out of juice so this i did this as an experiment to see uh, how long I'd go for it. Now, the next experiment, this is the most interesting one, I think, is this. We've got one of these power, um, these uh, solar panels here. Now, something like this, okay, it's a flexible and nowhere near as efficient, or at least they weren't anywhere near as efficient as the rigid ones uh, that you put on a uh, on, on your roof. But, again, you don't need to have to get somebody to install them for you or do it yourself. You don't have to make holes in the roof, but you do have to sort of fiddle with it a bit. So today, for example, you can see now it's a bit in the shade. So if I really wanted to make it better, I'd have to move everything else. Um, uh, uh, somewhere, I have to move it somewhere else. But anyway, this uh, would cost somewhere, it's very difficult to say exactly, uh, but about somewhere in the region of around 320 euros, something along those lines now the panels i've got on my roof cost uh, uh, considerably more than that but they're 200 watts uh, so for 100 watts what i paid back contact um it was a bit cheaper than that but with the disadvantages that i've just said but something like this you can carry it around with you it weighs next to nothing and um, during the day you can stick it on your roof hoping of course nobody climbs on the roof and takes it out of course you would have to leave you're gonna put the battery on there you have to leave the battery on the roof or you'd uh, pull it through the um the the, the uh, hatch in the window hoping of course that you don't forget about it. We've all seen people drive off having put some drinks on their roof or their cars, for example. Uh, anyway, so the big question is now, how well does it charge? Well, today is the 12th of July. Well, you can see what the weather's like. Now, the weather here, it hasn't been sunny all. It was a little bit overcast, but it, on the whole, it has been like this. And this has now been out for seven hours and in those seven hours it has charged the power bank camping power bank power station 
uh, as they said, I don't know it should be called a power station, power station like you've got a Chernobyl for example, well I'm blowing up a bit apart but I mean that's what I always say, power station, don't like the word but that's what they call it, so I'm going to call it as a camping power bank. This thing here does not have a very accurate display as how much juice there is in it. We can only, if we get, it probably won't even come out, it won't even come out, but if I get really close to it I can see that this is between 40 and 60 percent charged i can see that so so it's roughly half of it is now in it now uh uh we i i looked at it a couple of times during the day the worst it was charging was 10 watts and the best that i saw was uh, 75 so uh, it varies depending on the sun obviously now it's this thing here's a bit in the shade so i wasn't really t paying that much attention to where it was during the day we moved it once though because it was it was he it was here earlier and so that gives a very rough idea on how quickly you could charge uh, these things up now i find that when i'm using this with my computer i get about six charges off it it just it seems to be uh that way from zero to i mean it's dreadfully inaccurate way of just saying anything so if i'm leaving this out all day like that's three charges on the computer and the battery uh, lasts about two and a half hours uh, depending what's plugged in what i'm doing and again it's dreadfully inaccurate so roughly speaking very 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 roughly speaking for leaving all this thing out here on a sunny day it would keep my computer running uh so for those of you with camper vans uh, and um, things you're doing your own conversions, I really do strongly recommend these for these reasons. And it's portable, it's light, you can carry it anywhere you can. You know, batteries, you, they're stuck, you can't in, in place. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a hassle taking them out. These things are really convenient. Of course if you're in the van all the time as i am okay well i've got batteries in there heavy batteries and uh, we've got uh, lithium ferrous oxide uh sorry lithium ferrous phosphate uh batteries uh anyway so that gives that one so strongly recommend something along these lines and uh, so i think the jackery here has done a pretty good job on charging this up so as an experiment it, it, it was interesting I'm going to show you in another thing I've got another little thing which I bought from a German company and um, which isn't so good but I'll have to show you that in a different video so there you go this is camp for you campsite near Wrocław Poland it's one of the best campsites in uh, in this country you can see about I've done it in other videos, but it's one or two features. I'll just put it's got a swimming pool down there beyond that. It's got a, it's got a, um, a sauna. Uh, so here's like the, uh, the, 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 the club place here. This is where we uh, want um, the, the reception and toilets and showers. They've got uh, uh, a little, little camping houses, well, houses really down there and uh, one can rent vehicles from here rent bicycles and oh sometimes there's somebody gets up there and does a show on stage so gives you a little bit of a background as to where i am i come here very frequently so i'm here a couple of times a year so uh thanks uh, very much for watching and all the best from me in poland with uh, this demonstration of how good a solar panel like this uh, can be.